Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, bunch of uh, codes uh, fully confined uh, in a circle, as you can see in this uh, diagram. The code uh, A, B, the code uh, C, D, and finally the code uh, A, C. And moreover, this segment uh, A, O is represented by 3x uh, plus 4. This segment OB is represented by 6x uh, plus uh, 3, whereas uh, this is uh, 3x uh, plus uh, 6, and finally this OD is represented by 3x uh, plus 2. And now our task is uh, to calculate the perimeter and the area of this uh, green uh, triangle uh, AOC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our action plan. Since we are interested in finding the numeric value of uh, the perimeter and the area of this uh, green shaded right triangle AOC. So therefore, we must uh, find the value of uh, X uh, first. And now let's recall the intersecting uh, chords uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if two chords uh, intersect uh, in a circle, uh, then the product of the measures uh, of the segments of the chords uh, are uh, equal, as you can see in this uh, given uh, diagram. Here we got these uh, two chords, uh, AC and uh, BD, and they intersect uh, each other such that uh, this uh, segment uh, A times this segment uh, B is going to be equal to C times uh, D. So therefore, A times B equals to C times D. And now let's revert our attention back to our this given uh, problem. Here we got these uh, two chords, uh, A, B, and uh, C, D, and they intersect each other at this uh, point uh, O. Let me go ahead and label uh, this segment uh, A, O as uh, lowercase uh, A, this other segment uh, lowercase B, this segment uh, lowercase C, and finally this segment uh, lowercase uh, d. And now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation, a times b equal to c times d. In our case, our a is uh, 3x uh, plus uh, 4 times uh, b is uh, 6x uh, plus uh, 3 equal to c in our case is uh, 3x uh, plus uh, 6 times our d is 3x plus 2. And now let's go ahead and multiply them out by double distribution as you can see. And likewise we are going to perform this double distribution on this side as well. So let's go ahead and multiply them out. So it's going to give us 18x square plus 9x plus 24 x plus 12 is going to be equal to on this side 9x square plus 6x plus 18x plus 12. And now we can see this 12 cancels out with this 12 on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and combine the like terms on both sides. On the left hand side we get 18x square plus 30 3x is going to be equal to 9x square plus 24x on the right hand side. And now we are going to subtract 9x square and 24x from both sides. On the left hand side when we subtract this is going to give us 9x square plus 9x is going to be equal to here they cancel each them out so therefore it's going to be zero and now we can see that this equation is divisible by nine across the board i'm going to divide each and every term on both sides by nine so therefore we are ended up with this quadratic equation x square plus x equal to zero and now we can see x uh, is in common so I can factor x outside so we got x uh, times x plus uh, 1 equal to 0 now we got these two factors equal to 0 
I can uh, separate them. I can write uh, x uh, equal to 0 or the other equation x uh, plus 1 uh, equal to 0 and in this equation uh, x plus 1 equal to 0 means x turns out to be negative 1. So therefore we are ended up with two values of x, uh, x equal to 0 and the other one is x equal to negative 1. And now we can see that x equals to negative 1 value is not possible because if I substitute x value in this expression for x equal to negative 1, so this is going to be 6 times negative 1 plus 3 and that is going to be negative 6 plus 3 means this value is going to be negative 3. And we know that this uh, length uh, cannot be negative uh, value. So therefore we are going to reject this negative value of x equal to negative 1 and we are going to accept uh, x equal to 0 value. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and substitute uh, this x equal to 0 value in all uh, these uh, expressions. And if we plug it in in this uh, expression uh, when x is 0, so this uh, side uh, turns out to be 6. Likewise this uh, when we ex uh, substitute x equal to 0 value so this is going to be 3 and when we substitute x equal to 0 value in this expression this uh, turns out to be 4 and finally when we substitute uh, x value equal to 0 over here in this expression that is going to give us positive 2. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, green uh, right triangle uh, AOC whose uh, side lengths are uh, 4 and uh, 6. And now we are going to calculate this side length uh, AC. So therefore we are going to apply the Pythagorean uh, theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me call this uh, longest leg as our side C. I'm going to call this side uh, lowercase a and this side uh, lowercase uh, b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. A in our case is 4. So this becomes 4 square. B is 6 whole square equal to C square. So that is going to give us 16 plus uh, 36 equal to C square. So therefore uh, C square turns out to be equal to 52. Let me go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on uh, both uh, sides. So therefore on the left hand side uh, c turns out to be equal to and now let's focus on this uh, square root of uh, 52. I have just copied it down over here and if we simplify it uh, it turns out to be 2 times the square root of 13. So therefore our c value turns out to be 2 times the square root of uh, 13. So therefore our this uh, longest uh, leg uh, ac turns out to be 2 times the square root of 13. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the perimeter of this uh, green triangle uh, AOC. So the perimeter is just simply the sum of these uh, side lengths. Uh, 4 plus 6 uh, plus 2 times square root of uh, 13. So therefore the perimeter uh, P is going to be simply 4 plus uh, 6 uh, plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of uh, 13. And if we simplify everything that is going to give us uh, 10 plus 2 times uh, square root of uh, 13. So thus the perimeter of this uh, green triangle turns out to be 10 plus uh, 2 times square root of 13 units and that is going to be approximately equal to 17.21 units. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green uh, triangle. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And in our case, our base is 4 and the height uh, is 6. So therefore, the area of this uh, green uh, triangle is going to be a half times base is 4, height uh, is 6. And if we simplify everything, uh, so the area turns out to be 12. So thus the area of this uh, green triangle turns out to be 12 uh, square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.